Have you ever heard the term you box the banger and you bang the boxer? Have you ever have you ever heard that term? You've heard that term before, most likely if you've been inside a boxing gym or you've actually been around someone that actually knows the sport of boxing. It's a tried and true method that works the majority of the time. And um, it's a reason why I favor highly skilled boxers over brawlers. It's a reason why. And the fight last night between Victor Postal and Lucas Matisse explains to you exactly why I favor the technical style over the brawler swarmer type style. Uh, I mean, in all fairness, this was pretty damn close to a masterclass boxing performance. I didn't make a prediction for this fight. I really didn't make a prediction for this fight. Uh, I was uh, I was on the fence about this fight. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was on the fence about the fight. I didn't trust Lucas Matisse against boxers. Um, Lucas Matisse has been exposed as a person that does not that is not good going against movers and jabbers. You know what I mean? people who work behind their jab it is clear to me and it should be clear to everyone else um you know a Ruslan Provodnikov oh yeah you know make make Matisse look nice but against a boxer boy against a person that can box and that can move no Jack no And we see that now. So. (coughs) Um, (coughs) Victor Postal, excuse me. Victor Postal utilized that jab. He utilized excellent footwork. And Lucas Matisse had no answer all night long. Going into the fourth round. I had... I had post all up 3-0. I said, this fight is over. I said, this fight was over. Because you can tell, like, he looks so flustered. Like, Matisse looks so flustered. Like, he really did not have an answer. He didn't have an answer for what was going on. He, he really, literally did not have an answer. He was gone. And I'm and, and I'm trying to un, and, and you know and I'm trying to understand why in the world did he let Postal get into his groove? You see what I'm saying? When you let a when you let a technical fighter <coughs> get into his groove early, you can pretty much call it a night. Um, when he started to walk, when Matisse started to walk Postal down in the sixth and seventh rounds. My only thought was, uh, it was a little bit too late, sir. It was just too little too late. Because he was stockpiling rounds, moving around, flipping the jab. And then while he was flipping the jab, he would, all, he would also come back <coughs> with the check left hook to make sure that, because that took away Matisse's, that, that took away Matisse's patented left hook. Because everybody know. But T say got a got a got a got a nice left hook. He took away that power. He took away his power shots. He took away what he depended on most. And this was a boxing exhibition. I mean, Matisse got his ears boxed off, dog. Um my goodness. <coughs> and I must say, I loved every minute of it. I loved every minute of it. I love to see boxers do work. I love to see masters of their craft do their thing. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And post all that. And then on top of that, he finished the job in the 10th round. Now, here's the thing to me. 
Here, here's the thing. Post all. I mean, not post all. Matisse, he could have gotten up. He could have got up for the um from that um from that 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 uh that little uh that little right hand. That wasn't enough to put somebody like Matisse away. But he was so flustered. His body language told me everything I needed to know. He was disgusted. He was done. And he basically quit. <coughs> now, I understand too. His orbital bone. He said he felt the pop. He felt his orbital bone pop and all that good stuff. All right. I get I give him that. I give him that all day long. Matter of fact, that is acceptable. That is very acceptable. Because you want to live to fight another day. So I'm so so I'm giving him that myself. But understand something, man. Matt, I mean, dude. Man, bump this fight. I want to see Crawford versus Post Post All now. I think that's I think that's a big boy fight that could be made early 2016. Early 2016. Early 2016. I think I, I think that fight can and should be made, and that, and that joint should be ready for 2016. That's a unification fight. Excuse me. I'm still trying to beat this cold, man. Damn. Oh. Anyway. Congratulations to Post All. You know, they fought for a vacant title. But it really didn't matter, I guess. Uh, we see why Danny Garcia ducked him. Because Danny Garcia probably would have had the same problems. Um, that Matisse had. Even though Danny is just a, a tad bit more athletic, he probably would have had just a little bit more success. But we all know, you know, but we all know that Danny was wise to avoid him after the exhibition that we saw tonight. Because, like I said, Danny has a problem with brawlers. I mean, had a, has a problem with uh, people who box on their toes. And uh, and post off fits the bill, Jack. This guy, this guy ain't nothing to play with right here, man. So, big shout outs to Victor Postal. Where does Lucas Matisse go from here? I don't know, man. I don't know. But, uh, you know, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Until the next video, it is your boy AC. I will holler.